everyone. I'm here with my friend, Bailey. And I hear, Bailey, that you're a picky eater. I'm a very picky eater. So you probably are the type of person who only eats name brand things. Only name brand. You know, versus me, I will eat anything and everything and it's all good to me. Whatever. We're about to talk about identity, and there's nothing worse than the off brand things having an identity <laughs> crisis trying to be like the name brand thing. Crust toothpaste? Have you seen that before? I've never seen it before. I don't even know. Maybe it's legit. I don't know. Prongles? They're trying to be Pringles. <laughs> the OK shampoo trying to be Olay. Straight up, that they're not good. It's okay. They're just okay. <laughs> exactly. So now we're actually going to try our own things that are off brand to see if really the name brand things are as good as the off brand. The first thing that we've got here are Pop Tarts. The name brand Pop Tarts and the off brand. Post them no. Pop up. Nope. Okay. All right, let's try Pop the name tarts. brand. Let's go. I'm telling you, name brand. Well, love. Let's do the toast of tarts. <laughs> These are the winners! They are really good. They are so good, they're thicker! Yeah. Oh, you, toast of tarts, you are the winner! Now, it's time for the true test. Takis Atomic X. I'm pretty sure mine actually might win, so let's try them. All right, we're going with Takis first. You ready? ready? Very good. Now we're going Atomic X bomb. Let's go. Girl! Oh, I'm not hundred percent sure. Mmm. These win all day long. Atomic X is over Takis. What in the world? I've got me our original cookie crisp. Mine says original. Chips Ahoy. This one is literally cereal. They are just wannabe. Alright, so we're starting with your Chips Ahoy. There's nothing better. I'll mm -hmm. finish this, then we'll go cookie crisp, but we'll, we'll, all right. Cookie crisp, let's go. They're a lot sweeter. Cookie okay. crisp, hands down, man. All day long. <laughs> Winner. Okay, next up, Coca-Cola. I've got me, Maya, popular. <laughs> yeah, cola flavored soda. Popular. It's called popular, so it's gotta be popular, right? All right, let's start with our popular soda. Pretty good. What do you think, Bailey? All right, fake cheers, air cheers. Nothing better. True. Nothing. That's, it's all about better. the code. We've got my very favorite, refried beans, y'all. We got the best yes, 1893. Ew. This is the name brand. Mine's, mine's full of bean juice. <laughs> the best yet bean. Okay. I would add some salt, but it's pretty good. I don't think it's for me. All right, here we are. What are the old El Paso traditional refried beans? These. Yeah. Old El Paso for the win. Are you sure? Like we really have to do this? Yes. Okay. All right. For the youth, okay. All right, guys. Now we put everything together. Now we're gonna eat it. Yes, look at yum. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, mm hmm You see it? Okay, all the things you got. You got the talkie, you got, okay. Right. Oh, wait, one more thing. Actually, I think we forgot to add the Coke. Coke! You ready? We're about to pour some Coke right. on here. So um, just what we're doing right here. Oh, oh yeah. Mm, you heard that? Three, two, one, go! Okay, eat it, Bailey! Oh my goodness, no, I don't want to. <laughs> do we have to do a big bite? Oh. <laughs> it literally smells so What's up Shoreline City Youth and Middle School? Happy Sunday, hope you're having a great Sunday so far. 
wherever you are, you may be on your couch, maybe it's midday, maybe it's in the afternoon, still in your PJs, I get it. But how funny were those clips before from Lexi and Bailey? Hey, there are a lot of things that are replicas of the real thing, and at times it does taste the same or even look the same. But today we're gonna talk about what's that you wearing? That's our message topic today. What's that you wearing? We're talking about identity, what it means to look like who we're called to be or what we're created to be, right? But it's funny because I actually went to buy a new pair of sneakers and it was a bit sketchy, it was a bit random, but there was a guy on the corner of the, the road, he was selling some sneakers and I found these Yeezys that he was selling. I was like, these look pretty legit, these look pretty dope. And they look like this. Now, they're green, they're taped, they're somewhat authentic, but I can't tell. So, you know what? I need a professional, I need a sneakerhead to help me out on this. I'm gonna call Adam. He's a sneakerhead. He has some knowledge on this area. So I want to call him up and see what his thoughts are on, on these sneakers. Are these real or are these fake? All right, let's do this. All right, let's call him up, get my airport on. Yo, what's up, Adam? What up, mate? G'day, how are ya? Oh, good to see hey, you, man. So good to see you. You hey. too, bro. Hey, man, these COVID streets, bro, it's been too long to see us, see each other face to face. What are you up to? working on a little project. Oh, okay, all right. What kind of project are you working on? Are you willing to share and show us what it's you're secret, doing? bro. You promise not to tell anybody. Hey, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> I promise. All right, I'm working on these sneaks, bro. This is number three. Okay, all right, nice, nice, cool, cool. Wait, little, little glimpse, I'll show you yeah. what you got. Let's check it out, let's see what you're working on, bro. Ooh, okay, all right, I see you. That looks dope, bro. What Some is that? Scratch, homie. This will be the. This is the OG pair. Okay. Donors. The donors. donors. Okay. We got working on the tongue right now. That's okay. That's all you get. That's all you oh, get. Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> is that it? All right. Cool. Cool. Hey, man. I've heard that you're a sneakerhead. I know you have um, the wealth of knowledge on sneakers, right? Now, I did buy these these Yeezys, and I'm, I'm not too sure if it's authentic or not, but I've heard. That you have a hefty collection over there. I might have one or two. Oh yeah? I might have one or two. One or two. Let's see what you got, man. All right, I'll give you a little peek, bro. Doing all these questions, man. Showing you all my secrets. Showing you all my man, secrets. Man, I need this to hear these secrets, man. You need to secrets, tell me bro. these secrets, bro. I need to figure this out. Okay, you look like you got more than two there, man. It looks like a good collection you have there. Okay, maybe a few more than two, though. Okay. But, bro, there is worse than... Oh, my gosh. Looks like a Foot Locker store in your room there, bro. What the heck? I should have came and bought shoes from you. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's awesome. Well, you're the right person to see about this. So, I bought these pair of Yeezys. Corner of the store, a corner of the road. Some random guy was selling these. I need to figure out how do I know these are genuine? How do I know these are not fake? Listen here, young grasshopper. <laughs> okay, let's hop to it. I will teach you my way. Teach me, bro, teach me. All right, first off, bro, those are tape. That should have been your first clue. So, okay. I don't know, you need to talk, talk to Morgan, maybe get an eye on Yeah, yeah. We'll move on. I may need to. Okay, but there's a lot of fakes out there and people are actually getting pretty good at making replicas that look the exact same. Oh. You have to be, you always have to be on guard for fake. Oh, really? Okay. You, will, right. you definitely want what's real and what's authentic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the biggest, I think the biggest point to look at first, minus your tape, <laughs> would be, there's always gonna be extra glue blocks. Extra glue They use the glue to assemble the shoe because it's not done in a factory and it's people doing replicas. There's gonna be way too much glue stains. You can see that with a with a UV light. UV light, not just like a random light, like a flashlight. Not your flashlight, but a real UV. Light. Oh, okay, right. Then I would say, I know these are different, but Nike's uh, Nike's are dope, bro. Diversity is cool. Okay. I like diversity. I don't hate against the Adidas. Right. I got plenty of Adidas. Yeah, yeah. But the Nike Nikes just do it, bro. Oh, I see what you did there. I would say <laughs> the second part is if you check the inside, okay. there should be a barcode, and the last four digits should be different on both shoes. What if it looks like someone's phone number? Is that does that seem right? 
I don't know if Silas is playing a trick on you or another reason that you got hosed. Bro. Oh man, Not I definitely got hosed on that one, bro. Dang it. Sweet. We've already established that yours are the feesies, or the fake feesies. Yeah, they're definitely feesies. We're going to go with the most important part in what I check yeah. is your soul, bro. Oh. You got to check your soul. Okay. It's not about just keeping the outside clean, but you want to trustworthy. Trustworthy. Okay. And you can be able to see the different boost technology that they have on theirs. Yeah. It's not going to replicate. It's not going to replicate right. You're not going to have that same hmm. cushy feeling when you step in them, like walking on clouds. Oh, these definitely don't feel like walking on clouds. It feels like I'm wearing rock shoes. If you know what I mean. Dang it! So I got played, bro. These are fake. Oh, I'm gonna have to find that guy, man. Yeah. Messed up, bro, big time. These are definitely not authentic. But you actually touched on some points, man, that I, I want to talk to our students about. Because these... Yeah, not real, my man. I love you, bro. Love you too, bro. Thank you for calling me. Oh, of course, man. Hey, thank you so much for those tips, man. And I'll talk to you later. Now, Adam touched on some points there. Then I'm like, man, these are definitely fakes. <laughs> not authentic, not real. But sometimes in life, I think those are some of the questions we need to ask ourselves. Are we, be, are we being authentic? Are we being genuine? Are we walking out who we're created to be? And some of the points that he mentioned was, we need our eyes checked. We need to be on guard to see what's fake and what's real. Are we being on guard right now? Is our eyes on guard? Not in our eyes, but also our ears. What are we hearing? Is it fake to what the people are saying about our lives? Are people trying to brand us, trying to label us into what they think we are? Are we being authentic? Are we being real? And are we on guard on what we're seeing and what we're hearing? This is the final thing, the soul check. Are the soul correct? Are they authentic? Is it gonna be strong enough to keep going through? And it's funny because the soul is the first thing that hits the ground, right? Hits the ground running. You gotta make sure the soul's right or else the soul will eventually come off. It's, so, it's the whole shoe, right? It will just detach itself. Now, what about you? Have you done a soul check? What's deep down in your soul right now? Is that gonna keep sustaining you? Is it gonna keep pushing you towards who you're created to be? And we're talking about the, the cushiony parts, right? Is the things that are motivating you, is it gonna give you enough cushion? Is it gonna give you enough comfort to keep pushing through? Because you know, times in life it can be tough, especially when you're in a party. On a scene at a party, if your friends are telling you to do to do one thing, like, hey, come drink this, hey, smoke this, are you in a stable foundation to say no to those things? Because they're telling you to go one way, but you're created to go this way, to fully walk in your potential, to fully walk in your purpose, your soul. Here at Shoreline City Youth, we like to say, hey, how's your heart? You need to do a heart check. How's your soul? How's it going? Is it, is it strong enough? Is it on a firm foundation? It's interesting that we're talking about a pair of sneakers and reflecting that over our lives. At the end of the day, we need to ask these hard questions. Because if we don't talk about this now, the world's gonna define us. They're gonna start labeling us and we could possibly believe it. But we're here to talk about authenticity. We're here to talk about being authentic and genuine on our lives. Why are we created? Who am I? Why am I here on this earth? And this next moment is gonna clear that fogginess. Let's check this moment out. Have you ever been pranked before? <laughs> it's funny once you realize the truth, right? <laughs> but sometimes a lot of us are walking around and little do we know, we are actually being pranked. I'm not talking about a funny prank where your shoelaces are tied. I'm talking about the names you are tying yourself to, the identity you are walking around in. Ugly, poor, dumb, fat, phony. This, these words, it's a prank. This is good news, not only just for me, but it's really good news because the God of the universe has the truth. It's not a matter of changing who you are. It's just a matter of you believing who you are. They say loser, but God says winner. They say ugly, but God says beauty. They say despised, but God says adored. They say incapable, but God says mastered. They say ignored, but God takes notice. 
This is why it is so important to read his word and spend time in prayer. We begin to hear the voice that doesn't lie, that doesn't scheme, that doesn't prank. His voice is the voice of truth and it's like nothing we've ever seen. So you have to start listening more to start recognizing. Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are God's handiwork. God's a handiwork. Meaning, God's masterpiece. You are a masterpiece. That is your identity. Stop allowing others to lie about the authentic artwork that was bought with a high price. The price of precious blood. The blood of Jesus. That is what you're worth. That is what he did for you. Start walking around in the reality of what you are and call out the pranksters and start telling them who they are. God's masterpiece. Wow, what an incredible moment. A great reminder of who we are and why we're on this earth. Lex actually touched on the point of where God paid a high price for you. And realizing that all these different labels and all these different brands that people are trying to put on us, we can test those brands. We can test those labels. Is that who I am? Is that authentic? Because if it isn't, we don't have to accept it. We don't have to listen to it. And here are some practical takeaways that I feel like we can use to continue to be all that God's called us to be. The first takeaway is this. I want you to memorize Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 to remind yourself that you are God's handiwork and that you were created in Christ Jesus to do good works. You were created to do good in this world, but it's only through Jesus Christ. And you are God's handiwork. You are his masterpiece. And the second thing is, I want you to read everything that Jesus says. Now, some Bibles have it in red ink. And if you don't have a Bible, Google it. Google what Jesus said in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. He actually demonstrated an example of how to do it. Read what he did. Every action, everything he said. Listen to it, read it, and understand it. And you'll know what to get rid of. Remove those labels. And stick to what's genuine. Because at the end of the day, God is asking you to just give up what you never were in the first place. That's right. I'm going to say that one more time. God is only asking you to just give up what you never were in the first place. What you were created to be. Just to give it up. Give up all those fake labels. Give up all those things that you, maybe your parents have said to you. Maybe what your friends have said about you. If it doesn't match what God is saying, you're wearing the wrong identity. What's that you're wearing? Are you wearing God's identity? Why you were created on this earth? Right now, there are some of you out there who have never given your heart to Jesus. Maybe some of you have been on this journey, who have made Jesus Christ first in your life, but for some reason along the way, along the journey, things have been cloudy, things have been clogging up, foggy, unclear. This is your moment too. I want you to repeat this prayer after me. When you're praying this prayer, you're only asking God, hey, it's not my way. I want to go the way Jesus calls me to go. I want to go His way, not my way. I want to accept Him as my Lord and Savior. And He will connect you straight to the Father. He will connect you to your Creator. Now, please friends, join me in this prayer with every head bowed and eyes closed. I want you to repeat this prayer after me. On a count of three. One, two, three. And say this. Dear Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I admit I've made mistakes. And today, I give you my heart. I give you my life. Give me the power to live for you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I'm so, so proud of y'all. There is a party up in heaven right now. Wow. I'm so excited what God is going to do in and through you in this season and beyond. At 5 p.m. we have connect groups, so please join us in. 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. No matter where you are, around the world or around America, please join us. We want to get to know your name, we want to have some fun with you, and we also want to grow and be all that God's called us to be. All right, have a great Sunday, have a great week. We cannot wait to get connected with you. Central Line City Youth, you guys ready to worship? My name's Jono, super excited to be here with you guys. Let's sing out together. Who am 
mind at the highest key would welcome me. I was lost, but he brought me in. Oh, his love for me. Oh, his love for me. Come on. When the sun sets free. Yes, he died for me. Be the sun sets free. Oh, it's free indeed. I'm the child of God. Yes, I am. Be my father's house. There's a place for. Just the voices, there's a place for me. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am.